Welcome to the Philippine Molar Show. This is Auto Focus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A subcompact sedan from Honda, the 2019 Civic 1.E CVT, and a large SUV from GAC, the 2019 GSA 2.0 LGE. We'll also have a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. This week, we have the 2019 Aston Martin GT4 and the 2019 Maserati Levante Trofeo, plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two pickups, the 2019 Mitsubishi Strata and the 2018 Toyota Hilux Conquest. Together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have a special feature on mufflers and exhaust with the guys from Speed Lab. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is all of focus and we'll be right back after this short break. to expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! Now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! Now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Part of the 2019 2020 Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph slash AFPCA 2019. Then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2019 2020 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2019. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards will win. You choose, you decide. Vote now. Mitsubishi Expander. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Honda. Boasting a refreshed design and a more powerful engine, the 10th generation Honda Civic continues the legacy of its nameplate. In this car review, we put on the spotlight on the features and capabilities of the 2019 Civic. Watch this. Under the hood of the 2019 Honda Civic is either a 1.5-liter IV-Tech turbo engine that produces 173 PS and 230 Nm of torque, or a 1.8-liter IV-Tech engine that is capable of giving out 141 PS and 174 Nm of torque, the one we have here. Both of these powerhouses are coupled to an Earth Dreams Technology continuous variable transmission that provides power at the driver's demand. 
for the suspension, Honda tweaked the new Civic setup to improve handling as well as to ensure a smooth and peaceful ride all throughout. At the front, it uses a McPherson strut with stabilizer, while at the rear, it uses a multi-link. Moreover, all the variants come with vented disc brakes at the front and solid disc brakes at the rear. That's enough for the oily bits. Let's proceed to the star of the show, the Civic's exterior. The 10th generation Civic came barging in the market with a refresh styling across its variants. The RS Turbo has a newly designed front bumper matched with an angular set of fog lights. Also for the RS variant, the light bulbs are finally LEDs, and it now boasts an RS badge position on the grille. Topping it all off are these new 18-inch Bellerina Black RS alloy wheels. Meanwhile, for the 1.8 eCVT variant, the one we have here right now, these new 16-inch shark gray metallic alloy wheels steal the show. Moreover, the 1.8 SCVT, the newest addition to the Civic family, sports a new halogen projector headlight with integrated daytime running lights and a set of 16-inch two-tone alloy wheels, very much close to the sporty DNA of the popular nameplate. Inside, the Civic's aim is to provide passengers a comfortable ride. The RS Turbo CVT is equipped with an 8-way power-adjustable driver's seat. Additionally, the Civic has a high center console. The seats are all wrapped up in leather, even the interior trims. And it also has new sport pedals. For the infotainment system, the Civic is equipped with an updated 7-inch touchscreen advanced display audio system that is available with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability. Moreover, the RS Turbo Grade comes in an independent navigation system, available only for the said variant. However, both the RS Turbo CVT and 1.8e CVT variants have a newly integrated hard buttons and volume knob that provides easy access to the sound system. When it comes to safety and security, passengers are insured of nothing less with the Civic's advanced features. The RS Turbo CVT variant is packed with additional safety features such as front driver and passenger side airbags and side curtain airbags for added protection for the passengers. All of this makes the 2019 Civic worthy of its 5-star ASEAN and CAP safety rating. The 2019 Honda Civic is available in Honda Cars Philippines dealerships nationwide with the following suggested retail prices. That was the 2019 Honda Civic, a car that offers a fresh design, more fuel-efficient engine, and many more. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. I'm getting stronger. Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing. In the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability, the new Strata, engineered beyond tough. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has anti-oxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph. 
or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across White Plains. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me, my kind of jam, my passion, my blend of coffee, my inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios, my drive. Ako po si Michael Kaliwag, labing dalawang taon ng patrol crew para sa NLEX SETEX. Bilang patrol crew, handa akong marap sa anumang di nasa ang sitwasyon. Naalala ko pa noon, 2009, Bagyong Ondoy, papatrol kami sa NLEX nang may nakita kami isang pamilya na natrap sa bubong. Kahit kailangan magpatrol, nagdesisyon kami na sa gapin at iligtas sila. Kami ang NLEX SETEX patrol crew, kaagapay at katuwag nyo sa mas maayos na paglalakbay. Welcome back to All of Focus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. As part of its commitment to promote road safety awareness in the country, Technology Ventures company Django Information Technology Solutions recently launched CroxTech, an app designed to help pedestrians and motorists be more mindful of their own safety on the streets. The said app was invented by Filipino Balikbayan Debbie Angie Macariola St. John, the owner of the company. According to Janko Information Technology Solutions, CroxTech is envisioned to help stem and stop the rising number of road fatalities from happening by providing an alert system to its users. Moreover, the app is meant to help the public become more mindful of the vehicles and pedestrians. Once you sign in as a user, CroxTech immediately identifies you as either a motorist or a pedestrian and sends you alerts on whether you are in the CroxTech safe zone, caution zone, or unsafe zone. CroxTech is the only mobile application to date that focuses on providing an early warning alert to both driver and pedestrian if there is an impending danger. The app is free to download on Google Play for Android phones and requires data for it to work effectively. Viewers, I value life and I wish that you would value life as I am passionate about it. So please download the app and let's start saving lives today, together. Auto Asia, a new dealership that is set to make waves in the country's ever-growing motoring landscape, officially opened its doors to the public. It is meant to carry the Korean SUV specialist Sang Yong and one of China's top automotive brands, Chang'an. The 1,300 square meter facility is located along the National Road, Purok 3, Pulong Santa Cruz, Santa Rosa, Laguna, which offers customer-centric care. An eight-vehicle service area will be on standby to give both Sang Yong and Chang'an customers the service they deserve. Sangyong, which initially sells the Tivoli subcompact SUV, the Rodius 9-seater MPV, and the Muso pickup, looks to broaden its appeal by unveiling the long wheelbase Muso Grand as well as the Rexton 7-seat midsize SUV. Chang'an, on the other hand, has had 35 years of experience building passenger cars and commercial vehicles both in China and around the world. Its initial salvo will include the Honor 5 7-seat MPV that features sliding doors for easy ingress and egress and the Star Truck, small truck which will cater to small and medium-scale businesses. Both brands will be sold under the Auto Asia dealership brand. We'd like to invite everybody to please come and visit our showroom, Auto Asia in Santa Rosa. We offer products for business and pleasure. So please come and see us, test drive our vehicles. We'll be happy to serve you. Honda Cars Philippines, Inc. has officially unveiled the new BRV in a grand event held at the City of Dreams, Manila, Paranaque City. As presented by Honda, the new BRV is powered by the 1.5-liter iVTEC engine that gives out 120 PS of power and 140 Nm of torque. 
The engine is mated to Honda's Earth Dreams technology, continuously variable transmission that delivers a smooth, refined, and fuel-efficient driving performance. The new Honda BRV revolves around the grand concept of enhanced SUV image. It sports a premium look with its sleeker design and advanced features. Up front, the new BRV presents a new chrome front grille that is perfectly paired with a new front bumper for both variants. Included in the updates is its new LED daytime running lights for 1.5V CVT variant, while maintaining the halogen headlights and fog lights for both variants. Its newly designed 16-inch alloy wheel also contributes to its long, wide stance for a more commanding road presence. The new BRV's interior received exciting updates as well. The 1.5S CVT variant is equipped with a 7-inch capacitive touchscreen display audio, while the 1.5V CVT is equipped with a 7-inch capacitive touch display audio with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. For added convenience, both variants of the new BRV are now equipped with a reverse camera. The new BRV also maintains a spacious and comfortable cabin that provides ample legroom and head clearance. The new BRV is now available at all 38 Honda dealerships nationwide. Thank you very much for our customers. Every time you are supporting Honda, thank you very much. So please come and see our new BRV in our dealership. Thank you very much. The 2019 Auto Focus People's Choice Award, Sunshine Television's annual search for the Automobile of the Year, as well as the Motoring Public's Most Preferred Vehicle Models, is now officially open. To distinguish the best models, the categories are divided into two, Standard and Luxury. Voters may vote for their favorite vehicles once a day. Let your voice be heard. Vote for your favorite automobile now. Auto Focus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me, my kind of jam. My passion, my blend of coffee, my inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios, my drive. Motoring Today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest-running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just a click away. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Be part of the 2019 2020 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph slash AFPCA 2019. Then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2019-2020 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2019. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards will win. You choose, you decide. Vote now. Mitsubishi Expander. Welcome back to this edition of Auto Focus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's Head to Head, our feature to feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category. What we have in this head-to-head -head are two pickup trucks that have become staple nameplates for car enthusiasts. 
Both of them have been in the market for decades and decades. We're talking about none other than the Toyota Hilux and the Mitsubishi Strada. Let's see how they compare. Here we have the Toyota Hilux Conquest 4x4 MT and the Mitsubishi Strada GT 4-wheel drive AT variants. Let's start with the two pickup trucks' respective engines. Under the hood of the Hilux Conquest is a 2.8-liter diesel engine that produces 177 PS of power and 450 newton meters of torque. These healthy figures are coupled with a four-wheel drive system and a six-speed manual transmission. When it comes to handling, Toyota made a few tweaks to the Hilux Conquest suspension to improve the riding experience, though it still uses the old double wishbone at the front and leaf spring at the rear. Nevertheless, the handling has improved and it provides a smooth ride. Meanwhile, the Strat is powered with a 2.4-liter DOHE diesel engine that is capable of giving out 181 PS of power and 430 Nm of torque, and is mated to a 6-speed automatic transmission. The latest generation Strata features a smarter Super Select 4-wheel drive or Easy Select 4-wheel drive system which allows the driver to switch the driving mode depending on the roads the car will take on. For the suspension of the Strata, Mitsubishi did special tuning to it as well. It is made up of an independent double wishbone and coil spring and stabilizers at the front for our variant here. However, for the rear suspension, which has been tweaked, all Strata variants feature a rigid, elliptic leaf spring with telescopic shock absorber. This layout delivers better handling and ride comfort and is also capable of holding more oil because of the dampers. Let's proceed to the exteriors of the two pickup trucks. Basically, design and styling-wise, we feature them in this edition of Head to Head, for they are both large SUVs, though they also have their differences, of course. One of the selling points of the Hilux Conquest is its bolder look. Aside from its grille design and sports bar, the LED headlights with daytime running lights, bed liner, and front bumper provide the Hilux Conquest a more commanding presence. Add the 18-inch alloy wheels, and the Hilux Conquest is ready to take on the road. On the other hand, the Strata also takes pride on its exterior design. Highlighting the front fascia is a high-engine hood line and beefier-looking lamps. Additionally, the headlamps are side-by-side -side with the daytime running lights. Also present in the front bumper are the fog lights and turn signals. Moreover, the Strata also powers through the road with 18-inch alloy wheels. It's time to hop on in the interior of the Hilux Conquest and the Strata. Inside the Hilux Conquest, the premium black trim defines its bold look, plus the fabric material that wraps the seats. Since it is a standard 5-seater, it offers enough space at the back for 3 people. For added convenience, the Hilux Conquest is equipped with automatic climate control with rear vents, hydraulic steering and tilt steering column, push start button, and power windows. When it comes to the infotainment system, the Hilux Conquest comes with a 6.5-inch capacitive touchscreen and comes with 6 speakers and is available through Bluetooth, USB, and AUX connectivity. As you go inside the Strata, you will be greeted with a tough look as well. You can also find soft pad materials and stitching on the floor console, armrests, and parking brake. The seats are also wrapped in leather, providing comfort, but what catches anyone's attention is the compartment that serves as a mobile tray, a helpful feature if you need a place to store your mobile phones while traveling. In addition, at the back of the center console, you'll find a similar compartment, complete with new USB ports. More about convenience, the Strata is equipped with an air circulator that absorbs air from the front air vents, then transfers it to the back. For the infotainment of the Strata, it comes with a touchscreen display system that is available in AM, FM, Bluetooth, and USB connectivity. Sound is enjoyable through six speakers. When it comes to safety features, the Hilux Conquest is equipped with the necessary features such as hill start assist, anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, and six airbags among other standard safety features. The pickup also guarantees security as it has a keyless entry feature. It is also equipped with central locking, an alarm, and an immobilizer. For the Strata, it is equipped with advanced technological features such as advanced safety features like forward collision mitigation, blind spot warning with lane assist, rear cross traffic alert, and ultrasonic mass acceleration mitigation system, among others.
Those are the Toyota Hilux and the Mitsubishi Strada. Two pickup trucks that come close but not quite. Our featured vehicles here on Head to Head. More about the automobile here at Autofocus as we watch in our segment featuring the autos of the world, spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing on this edition of your automobile electronic magazine, we have the 2019 Aston Martin GT4. Let's watch this. Aston Martin takes on its second 24-hour race in as many weekends when it contests another landmark GT racing event in the 2019 calendar. The ADAC total 24 hours staged on the world-famous Nürburgring with four Vantage GT4 machines. Straight off the back of the 24 hours Le Mans, where the Aston Martin Vantage GTE completed its first season in the top flight via World Endurance Championship, the Vantage GT4 will make its international 24-hour race debut in the N24, perhaps the world's toughest long-distance race. The Works AMR Performance Center will run a two-car entry in the SP8T class for close-to-production cars, featuring an all-star driver lineup that includes three-time Le Mans class winner Darren Turner, Aston Martin high-performance test driver Chris Goodwin, who joined Christian Gebhardt in the number 36. Meanwhile, AMR Junior driver and W Series Championship leader Jamie Chadwick and former ELMS champion Alex Brundle team up with N24 veteran Peter Kate in all-British lineup in the number 37 GD4. A further two Vantage GT4s will be run by the Nürburgring-based Aston Martin Racing partner team Pro Sport Performance in the SP10 class. Christoph Brewer, Kay Van Berlo, Alexander Meiss, and Mike David Ortman will drive the number 68, while in the number 76 will be Jorg Weibann, Nikolaj moller madsen and Jonas Lapelainen. NLEX Viaje Tips presents Healthy Road Trip. It's time for that much-awaited vacation, but here are a few things to watch out for. Sitting for long periods of time can form blood clots in your body like in the legs. To avoid that, stop for a quick break, get up, and move around to get your blood pumping. Car air conditioners speed up dehydration, so make sure to drink water frequently. Lastly, while driving, Protect your eyes from the sun by wearing UV-blocking sunglasses. And for a smoother trip up north, you can now drive all the way to your destination with one RFID. Get your Easy Trip RFID sticker now. Designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. I'm getting stronger. Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing. In the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability, the new Strata, engineered beyond tough. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. Be it fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado restaurant, only for the foodies.
Welcome back to Auto Focus. Our special feature is next. For this week's special feature, it's all about the exhaust system of your car. We have Speed Lab to walk us through. Let's watch this. There is usually a misconception surrounding a car's exhaust system. According to Mr. Sidney Ang of Speed Lab, it's often linked to the header, the muffler, and the resonator, all of which doesn't mean the same thing and are just parts of the entire exhaust system, among others. Here's Mr. Ang to give us an in-depth walkthrough, the parts of a car's exhaust system starting off with the header and the resonator. This part is called the header. It's called the header because it bolts on to the cylinder head of the engine. Very simple. Then up next, what we have, there's a joint here, all the way up to the back. This whole thing is called a mid-pipe. It's called a mid-pipe because it's in the middle of the car. As you can see, most of the car terms are pretty much self-explanatory. Mid-pipe, middle pipe. This thing here is what confuses a lot of people. Some call it a resonator, others call it a silencer, other people call it a scab. The resonator and silencer, they mean one and the same thing. This thing here, its only job is to make the exhaust quiet. For about the header, there are different kinds of headers that have existed in the market for so many years. There's a 4 to one type, which refers to the exhaust pipe layout consisting of four pipes that merge into two pipes, which are all connected to one collector pipe. Let's start first with 4 to one Why is it 4 and 2 and 1? People keep throwing these terms around without actually knowing why. This is why. 4, 2, and then 1. 4 becomes 2 and becomes 1. This configuration works because the exhaust is facing you in front of the engine. Almost all cars now, 2000 and up, have the exhaust at the back. You don't see it actually when you open up the engine bay anymore. This is why you can't have a 421 also on the newer cars. You see these two holes? These are oxygen sensor mounts. What that does is, it reads all the exhaust gases from all four cylinders and sends it back to the ECU. You need to sample all four exhaust gases equally. Unlike this one, with an older OBD1 and more basic EFI management, you just need from two cylinders. This one, you need all four cylinders. And this wire is not exactly long, it's pretty short. You can't have an exhaust system that long anymore on 2005 and up cars. It just doesn't work because there, after this one, there's already the exhaust tunnel, that's already the catalytic converter. There is simply no space to put it. Meanwhile, there's also a 4-1 type that consists of four pipes, which connect to a single pipe instead of two. Let's proceed with the muffler, another part of the exhaust that has a negative connotation to some. Mr. Ang clarifies that the muffler doesn't add noise to the car, instead it reduces sound. A muffler by definition is a thing that muffles. When you muffle something, you make the sound less. Bigger the muffler, the more the muffling, the quieter the car. Because there are misconceptions out there. Pag ka ng muffler, iingay yung koche. Correct, if you put a smaller muffler on your stock car, taking out the big muffler, of course, it's yung coche. Just like the header, the muffler comes in different types. For example, there's chambered mufflers consisting of three separate chambers. It refers to the two pipes that are divided by the muffler from the resonator to the tail end of the vehicle. According to Speed Lab, the whole point of these separations is to create more muffling for the sound. When you talk of chambered mufflers, this is what it's supposed to mean. We have separate chambers here, as you can see. This is the part where the exhaust gas comes out. It is nowhere physically connected to this pipe. So it goes in here, circles around, goes out here, goes through that little hole at the bottom, then goes out here. So it basically swirls around inside and then goes out. Meanwhile, if you are after a more performance-based choice, there's a free-flow muffler. Free-flow mufflers basically mean there are no chambers that separate the pipes. 
However, a free flow muffler produces more noise than a tapered muffler. This is a free flow aftermarket muffler that you can buy from your friendly muffler shop. Easiest way to tell a free flow muffler, you can see right through it. <laughs> There's no restriction whatsoever. <laughs> Additionally, Mr. Ang says it still depends on the amount of the material a muffler has for it to serve its purpose. The amount of muffling depends on how much muffling material your muffler has. So it does not also take a genius to see that this has more muffling material than this. So this will be noisier. They're both free flow because once again, you can see right through it. You can see right through it. Lastly, there's the resonator or the silencer, also known as the scavenger pipe. Generally, its only job is to make the whole exhaust system quieter. It doesn't affect the car's power whether it's retained or taken off. Diving deeper into how the exhaust system works, Mr. Ang compared a Mitsubishi Montero's upgraded exhaust system to a stock one. The most obvious difference between the stock and the upgraded one is obviously the size. This thing is 2 inches. <laughs> Pretty damn small. And by the way, when we do measure inches, you measure the inside diameter, not the outside. It's always inside diameter. The upgraded one is a big three inches from the get-go, which has a lot less restriction than, obviously, a two-inch pipe. And we go all the way here to the back, as we showed you earlier. The stock muffler is a chamber design with lots of little chambers inside and paikot ikot as compared to the Borla muffler that we're using, it's a straight-through muffler that goes from here all the way out there. Uh, Power-wise, it's around 10 horses for an exhaust upgrade. Uh, pretty much any diesel will get that power just by bolting on an exhaust. Alright, we've just finished installing the exhaust and let's hear how it sounds like. Ooh, it's already deeper at idle. Oh, now that sounds really, really good. Sounds a lot more macho than stock, definitely. <laughs> and with this exhaust upgrade, we actually get another 10 horses from it without doing no nothing. Even though this car we've already done an ECU reflash, making the exhaust bigger will increase the power even more just by itself and getting rid of all the restrictions in the stock exhaust like the catalytic converter, the small piping, and the chambered muffler. Now we have a true free flow exhaust, all stainless steel and 3 inch in diameter. That was an in-depth walkthrough on the parts of a car's exhaust system, courtesy of Mr. Sidney Ang of Speedlab. And up next is another exciting feature on Autos of the World. This time around, the 2019 Maserati Levante Trofeo. Let's watch this. Maserati GB confirmed the high-performance Levante VH range of Trofeo and GTS are destined to arrive in the UK market this autumn. Announced earlier this year for the European market at the Geneva Motor Show, the range topping Levante Trofeo is complemented by the Levante GTS, which was also shown earlier this year at the Shanghai Motor Show. The pinnacle of the Maserati Levante range, Trofeo is one of the fastest SUVs ever built and boasts a top speed of 186 miles per hour. Hosting a 3.8-liter V8 twin-turbo engine and delivering 580 horsepower at 6,250 RPM, the Levante Trofeo features Maserati's Integrated Vehicle Control System, or IVC, along with the new Corsa Race Driving Mode with launch control functionality for better performance and a genuine Maserati driving experience. Exterior-wise, a new aluminum bonnet with dual vents, 21-inch forged aluminum wheels, carbon fiber front splitter, front grille blades, side skirts, and rear valance, along with Trofeo badging, make the range-topping Levante unmistakable on the road. Likewise, the distinctive design of the Maserati Levante GTS equally epitomizes the Italian Mark's balance of performance, grand tour, and luxury. 
sharing the same 3.8 liter V8 twin turbo petrol engine and developing 530 horsepower, the GTS also features an elegant exterior restyled focused on the lower front fascia and the rear bumper giving the Levante GTS an even more aggressive and head-turning presence. The things that make my day. My mini-me. My kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios. My drive. Mitsubishi Expander. Part of the 2019-2020 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph slash AFPCA2019. Then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2019-2020 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2019. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards will win. You choose, you decide. Vote now. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate here on Autofocus as we have our second car review this week. GAC Motor brought in a treat for those who are looking for a seven seater crossover that has it all. In this car review, we're putting on the spotlight, the 2019 GAC GS8 4x2 GE. Watch this. We have here the GAC GS8 GE variant. Under the hood of the GS8 is a powerful 2-liter gasoline turbo engine that is capable of producing 199 horsepower and 320 newton meters of torque. The engine is made more efficient as it is made into a 6-speed automatic transmission that successfully transfers all power to two wheels. For the suspension, the GS8 uses McPherson type independent suspensions at the front and a multi-link beam independent suspension at the rear. Thanks to this setup, the GS8 can face any road imperfections. Let's have a tour of the design and styling of the GS8. When it comes to the exterior of the GS8, it is made to look rugged and at the same time neat and pleasant. Plus, it looks bigger courtesy of GAC Motors Light and Shadow Sculpting 2.0 design language. It's evident through its boxy design, which is further highlighted by these strong character lines hugging the GS8's body perfectly. But what makes anyone take a second look at the GS8 is the front fascia. The grille is framed by uniquely shaped headlights. While over at the rear, a set of H-shaped LED takes over. The GS8 is also equipped with side mirrors with intelligent memory function. Shark fin antenna, roof rails, 
and a mudguard, among others. Moreover, the GS8 powers through any road with the help of 18-inch alloy wheels. Overall, the exterior look of the GS8 is undeniably one of its best-selling points. Meanwhile, hopping inside the SUV, the leather seats spell luxury all over. Also, since the GS8 is a 7-seater SUV, it offers ample space inside even with its 3-row seating configuration. All of the seats provide utmost comfort and convenience to the driver and the passengers. For one, the driver's seat is 8-way power adjustable, while the front passenger seat is 6-way, and both of them are heated and ventilated. The second row is equipped with 60-40 split and sliding configuration, while the third row comes available with 50-50 split fold flat. For additional cargo space, the GS8 supersized flat bottom trunk offers huge amounts of space, a perfect feature for families taking on adventures. Moreover, for added convenience, the interior of the GS8 is filled with features that provide nothing less. It is equipped with a three-zone climate control air conditioning, central control door lock system, and power sunroof with jam protection, among other features. For the GS8's infotainment system, it comes with a 10-inch color touchscreen display system that is available in Bluetooth and USB connectivity. Audio is enjoyable through six speakers. There's also no need to worry about safety and security when aboard the GS8 as it comes with the standard necessary features and even more. It's equipped with multiple airbags. Anti-lock braking system with an electronic braking system. ISO fix, stability control, lane departure warning, and front and rear parking sensors among others. That was the 2019 GAC GS8 4x2 GE, the flagship car of GAC Motor, proving that it can compete in the market. And that's all the focus this week. And on behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, we hope you have found this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been Ray Louis Gamboa.